Hey guys, good morning. So today, upper body workout. We are going to use the kitchen table if you don't have a way to do uh, the inverted row parts. So that's gonna be the second exercise. We'll circle back on that. So what we're gonna focus on doing is five rounds. It's gonna be some pushes and some pulls, really trying to create that balanced approach to kind of developing that tissue like we always do. So we're gonna start with the push-ups, okay? You guys are gonna go three variations in one set. Start narrow, go neutral, and finish wide. The rep count is six, eight, 10, okay? So again, just for you guys to check it out, you have six close grip, okay? Then you're gonna go a little wider, you have eight neutral, then you're gonna take it all the way out, and you have 10. You may need to break those up if you feel them in your shoulders negatively, stick to one that makes the most sense for you. As soon as you're done with that six, eight, 10, you're gonna go on that kneeling position, really focus on pulling your elbows into your ribs, and then drive it up as high as you can, biceps align with the ears, that's gonna open your chest back up and allow you to feel a pretty good burn and stretch through the upper part of your uh, chest and shoulders, and then activating that back side of the body, which is really important. As soon as you're done with those two movements, you go into your pull variation. Again, you're trying to use like a coffee, I mean a uh, kitchen table, something with some height. You are going to go directly into 15 inverted rows. Make sure you're trying to get chest to bar, shoulders down and back, and trying not to shrug, right? After your 15 inverted rows, you're gonna go into 12 tricep extensions, keeping your glutes and midline nice and tight. All right, so 15 and 12 there. And then as soon as you're done with those, you go into your third part of the circuit, which is bear crawl variations. You're gonna go eight linear forward and back, then eight lateral. With that bear crawl variation, you wanna keep your knees as close to the ground as you can without them touching. So, and you move opposite arm and leg. So you're gonna go four forward, Right, opposite arm and leg, four backwards, right? And then opposite arm and leg again, you're gonna go four lateral and four the other way. As soon as you're done there, that's all five rounds, you're gonna go into your conditioning part of the workout today. You're gonna need to be outside here. You're looking to sprint out five yards, sprint back. Then sprint out 10 yards, sprint back, sprint out 15 yards, sprint back. So a lot of change of direction, you're running that is one, one interval, right? As soon as you get done with that run, you guys are gonna go into superhumans, which is laying on your stomach, just the opportunity to pull your shoulders down and back and give me 15 there, take 60 seconds, and then you are done looking for, I believe, four rounds there. So, hope you guys enjoy. Hope this is a good little variance for you. Looking forward to seeing you guys in the gym soon.